I don't know what's happening, but something just ha bad happened. Baby, stop, 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 stop. Welcome back guys. So today what we're working on is we are getting all the plumbing done to connect to the house to the septic. So you need to switch your brain off from electrical <laughs> and go back to plumbing now. I remember all the rules and requirements for that. Yeah. No, it's plumbing's, in my opinion, seems a lot easier. It's just getting the dry fit, uh, get everything dry fit and measured right is the hard part. Time to get under the house. <laughs> I was just telling him though, at least it's not springtime yet, so there shouldn't be any snakes under there. The rat snakes love to be under our house and on our house. Well. <laughs> Bear Bear, come here. <gasps> He's going to get his ball. <gasps> <laughs> I love how you had to bring his ball. Don't set on the camera. Ah, okay. He's dead. Oh! No, it's not. False alarm. It's bending. What? What? I don't know what's happening, but something just bad happened. Baby, stop. Stop, stop, stop. You're twisting the bit. Oh my god, you broke the bit. You broke the bit. Today is just not our day. Okay, so today what I'm working on is getting this toilet flange installed. Last night I ran into the issue of the hardware, the stainless steel bolts, not working with the stainless steel nuts, nylon uh, nuts that I had with it. Apparently they're not compatible. So today what I am going to be using is coated uh, roof fasteners. Yeah, I know. Uh, they're meant for metal, so and they're supposed to be corrosion, cro corrosion resistant because uh, they have a coating on them. I, I kind of actually like these better because one, they're self-tapping, and two, because they're not going to require a nut on the back side. So I could just drill it in, and for whatever reason, if I ever have to replace that toilet flange, I just have to zap off a screw because I mean, there's going to be spray foam and all that insulation down there, so. Who knows how that would go. Success. Oh man, I'm so happy. All right, so I'm gonna to have to crawl under the house and notch out a little bit more of those ridges underneath the uh, container floor because they're just causing headache on everything. Anytime, I already broke one drill bit. I'm just going to go through and notch the uh, two or three holes that I have left that um, have the ridge in the way. Later that day, we decided to switch our focus back to electrical so we could work on getting the back porch lights installed. This way we can more easily work on the plumbing outside during the evenings.
walk before she can cry. Alright. Oh, good girl. Oh, see that? That little smirk. Oh, yeah. My goodness, it's windy today. Such a beautiful day, though. Look at that sun. Hopefully, you guys can hear me because it is very windy. Yeah, eventually we would love to have a wind generator here just as another way of getting power. Um, but definitely for where we're located, solar is by far the best option. And we do plan on expanding that at some point. But one day we would like to try a wind generator because it would just be a nice option when there isn't any sun. Because when there's not sun, normally it's because it's really stormy. So. I think that would be definitely cool to try. Bear Bear, you wanna go on a walk? <laughs> Let's go. After having so much rain for the past couple weeks, it really makes you appreciate days like today. So we're going on a walk. <laughs> on today is we're just continuing to wire the house more specifically we're working on the back porch area right now so Spencer is at the store he has to go get a smaller hole saw because we're working on running that wire for the two fans that will be back there because the back porch is going to have two fans and then we have two back porch lights that will be on the house and I'm just so excited to get this porch done once the septic is all complete because it obviously runs up there under the porch. We'll be able to build that deck. So we cannot wait to get that completed because I know we will be back there all the time because we are very used to being outside. He's back with the world's most tiny hole saw. <laughs> I don't know if it's the tiniest, but it is pretty small. <laughs> So this one's all good to go now. We just need to wire nut these and then we'll be able to turn on our back porch light. I'm excited. I cannot believe it. It feels like just yesterday we were building this darn porch overhang. So to now have a light back here is just absolutely amazing. <gasps> Ooh, I can't wait for it to get dark. And then we can sit back here and sip a little whiskey. One light, well, we don't have the second light for some reason. I'm assuming since I had the light dangling, just one of the connections came loose. So we kill the power and check it out. All right, I'm pretty sure I figured out what it was. It was just the uh, the neutral wire on the second 
uh, light, it came loose, so. It's just so weird. We'll be able to see out here at night now. <laughs> I know that it's just two lights and it may not seem like a big deal, but it makes it feel so much more complete. One day we'll be sitting here on the porch and watching Bo run around. What are we doing? I know, it's it's really cold. <laughs> So the septic guys are coming tomorrow. So what I'm gonna be working on is the plumbing underneath the house as squared away as possible, just so they can check my work and if something needs to be changed, we can change it tomorrow. small issue sorry I'm trying to do this one-handed I'm off by like maybe a quarter of an inch the middle and the guest bathroom flanges line up perfect but uh, the master bedroom or master bathroom toilet flange is off by like I'd say about a quarter inch not a big deal because I have plenty of room to play with I feel like we have literally been working on this house forever. Oh my gosh, okay, that just reminded me. I saw a comment recently that said that they play a drinking game whenever they watch our videos. Whenever I say literally, they take a drink. <laughs> I don't realize that I say it that much, but. You literally never say it. <laughs> but now every single time I say it, I'm like, aware of it so thanks for that guys i'll play with you literally <laughs> you're already done there's literally nothing in there take a drink <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be so stupid <laughs> is it weird that we're like playing a drinking game with people but like there's we're really not like it's like a camera it's not in real time so we're playing a drinking game by ourselves with people from the future. Yeah. Or this is kind of like back to the future. What? <laughs>